guys, what's up? I'm Arthur and welcome to another awesome episode of the unboxing dito. For today's video, we're going to unbox and make a full review ng isa sa pinaka OG when it comes to gaming smartphones, the Black Shark 3S. <music> My channel provides unboxing, reviews, and actual gameplay ng lahat ng hottest games na available sa ngayon to help you decide kung itong phone na ito ang para sa iyo. So if you're new here, keep on watching and consider subscribing. So after all that, I guess it's time to unbox. Okay, so now, before ko siya unbox pakita ko lang quickly yung box. Tencent version, may Black Shark na logo, and meron siyang parang cardboard na nakasulat uh, Chinese and then sa side nakalagay uh, Black Shark and Tencent Games so open natin siya ngayon dahan dahan syempre Slip natin siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko na cardboard na box. And meron siyang QR code. And I think, um, pag in-scan nyo to, this will directly link nyo sa official na website ng Black Shark. So sa box, nakasulat lang is this is the Black Shark 3S 12 gigs ang RAM, 128 gigs of storage I-open natin Okay So, as you could see the Black Shark logo This is parang all matte So, maganda and premium siya and this is the phone itself. Kita bilang natin for a while. So okay, balikan natin to. May free. Here are some stickers. For mga collectors, aficionados, pwede rin indikit kung saan saan, like car or your laptop. And then, ito yung free niya na pang rubber case. Uh, as you could see, meron siyang opening, syempre for the design ng phone. Ang may plastic. And, Mukha naman siyang very durable, so I like it. Uh, to standard na mga warranty cards and some stuff. So, I'll set this aside. Meron din pang QR code na naman dito. Um, nakasulat is, this is um, 120Hz, 6.67 AMOLED, um, with the 65W charger. And 4720 uh, milliampere ng battery. So, here yung white niya na power brick. Uh, let's see kung 65 watts nga yun. Uh -huh. So, okay. So, ito, 65 watts siya. And, uh, as I've read, Itong power brick na to, with a cable, could charge yung phone in 15 minutes, 60% na agad siya. So, for example, uh, you're eating lunch, and then you decided na charge yung phone mo, pagbalik mo, full charge na agad siya. And pakita ko lang, ito yung kasama niya na charging cable, all white siya. Medyo parang nawala lang siya sa team ng Black Shark kasi, as you could see, 
black lahat and then pati yung phone is black din and parang yung cable and the charging brick is white so parang doesn't go along with the team but that's okay so wala na uh, sa iba smartphones may binibigay sila misa na mga headphone but with Xiaomi para I notice na they don't give yung mga free na headphone okay so now comes the most exciting part ng unboxing. Let's look at the phone itself. Hmm. Parang unang hawak ko pa lang sa kanya. Parang na-feel ko na very premium yung materials na ginamit nila. And if you look at the back, you would see na very symmetrical yung design pattern sa likod. And yung gamer aesthetic, kuhang-kuha niya. Yung tipo na Pag hinawakan mo siya ng pagganito, and kahit malayo sila, masasabi nila na, Uy! Gaming phone yun ah! Sikat! This has an aluminum frame and back. Combination ng matte and glossy design, so kinda pleasing sa eyes kasi may variation and depth. Sa glossy part, may mga lines din that changes depende sa tama ng light. So overall, well thought of yung design aspect niya. Sa back, You'll see at the center yung Black Shark logo that lights up when you activate it sa settings. You could customize the design and even the rhythm. Here, let me show you. Oh, di ba? Cool! Kaya ba ng phone mo? You'll also see two trapezoidal encasements sa back ng phone. The upper portion houses the triple camera setup. Plus sa bottom, you will see the Tencent Games logo plus the magnetic port kung saan nyo kakabit yung plethora ng gaming accessories na kasama nito like the fun cooler or the gamepad so let's move on with the display this one has a 6.67 inch AMOLED panel with 120Hz refresh rate paired with 270ms touch response so very good siya for gaming yung display niya is very bright it could reach up to 500 nits so yung visibility when outdoors will never be an issue Side bezels aren't too big but visible. But same with all the gaming phones, yung bezels niya sa forehead and chin is quite noticeable. This is because of two things. Number one, when gaming, you need to have a better grip. And you need somewhere to rest the part of your palm that's holding the phone. With smaller phones, the 6 to 6.3 inches is almost an odd issue. But with phones like this, 6.6 .6 to 6.7 inches, it really makes a big difference. The second reason for the bezels is because this houses the dual front firing speakers. One at the top beside the selfie camera and one is located at the bottom. Usually, speakers are placed at the bottom of the phone. But with gaming phones, they are placed in front of you to achieve maximum loudness and the ultimate gaming experience. The Black Shark 3S have a triple camera setup composed of the 64MP as our main shooter then we have the 13MP wide angle camera with 120 degree field of view. And lastly, we have a 5MP macro camera. So gaming phones usually have a bad reputation when it comes to camera quality. So now, let's put this gaming beast to the camera test and see for ourselves how it looks. So let's take a quick selfie with the 24MP front cam. So as you could see, kitang kita yung beard hairs, saka yung jawline. Hindi naman ikaw yan ah! Ah, ako yan before yung quarantine. Humaba lang yung buko. So like I said, clearly yung beard ko is defined dito sa picture na ito. Let me zoom that for a bit. Not bad for a gaming phone. O ba? Pogi. When taking selfies, I prefer it na off yung mga filters para naman makita mo yung full capability ng phone mo Next we have Silky the Friendly Seal as our mascot and model for our main camera shot So yung mga fur like material niya is clearly seen Definition and texture is really not bad So overall, I will say that this is really a pretty decent camera for a gaming phone Now like other gaming phones, the Black Shark 3S have what you call this special feature called the shark space wherein it lets you block all incoming calls, texts, and notifications para man yung gaming mo tuloy tuloy The phone has a physical slider located on the lower right side 
you just flick it upwards then it quickly launches the shark space app wherein you can choose in a window like view the game you wanna play. So for some actual gameplay of the hottest games around, sit back, tackle up, put your game face on and let us kick some
So my final thoughts on the Black Shark 3S. It has everything a person looking for a gaming phone would have on his list. High refresh rate, dual front firing speakers, an audio jack, and tons of gaming accessories. You name it, the Black Shark 3S have it. But if you already have a gaming phone like the ROG 2 or Black Shark 3, the question you need to ask yourself is, is it time to upgrade? Your ROG 2 from a year ago already has the 120Hz refresh rate, audio jack, and dual front firing speakers. On the other hand, the Black Shark 3 has the same design, same chipset, and same set of accessories. So if you would compare the incremental upgrades that you would be getting from the Black Shark 3S compared to the phones I've mentioned before, it's basically non-existent. My advice, if you already have a gaming smartphone, then might as well wait for the Black Shark 3S Pro. But if this is your first time buying a gaming smartphone, then the Black Shark 3S is really worth considering. So what do you guys think? Did the Black Shark 3S excite you? or the upgrade is not worth it? Please leave a comment below. So that's the end of our video. Thumbs is a plus, subs is a must. This is the unboxing Tito and I will see you next time.